What's up guys, it's Eric from Rare Caney and Tara back with another Sun and Moon deck profile for you guys. Uh, this time we're going to be taking a look at Lurantis GX. And uh, actually we recently posted a testing rounds video with this deck in action if you want to see how this actually works. And uh, as usual with our testing rounds videos, these are usually just rough starting points for us to start testing from. So just keep that in mind when you're watching this video. There's probably going to be things that can be approved. But anyway, so yeah, Lurantis GX. This is going to be actually... I'd say debatably my favorite GX in the set. Definitely one of the most playable uh, that we've gotten. Uh, and there's definitely multiple different variations of this deck out there. I think the Lorantis Vileplume deck has been receiving the most hype. And that one definitely seems the most obviously good. But we decided to test out a different version and see how this one might work as well. So since Lorantis is the main attacker, we're playing four Fomantis. And uh, its attack is actually somewhat relevant to Synthesis. You get to search your deck for a grass Pokemon, or I'm sorry, grass energy, and attach it to one of your Pokemon. So it actually has nice synergy with the Lorantis GX, since you can maybe power up a uh, one of your Fomantis for the next turn. And so this is a Lorantis GX deck, so we're playing three Lorantis GX. Uh, it's a one of these new cool GX Pokemon. So for you guys who aren't familiar, this is kind of the new mechanic that is going to be replacing EXs. So it works similarly. They give up two prizes. But what's cool is they're actually evolutions in addition to basics. So Fomantis, a regular Fomantis can evolve into a Lorantis GX. Uh, and all of these GX Pokemon have a GX move that can only be used once per game. So that's kind of what makes them a little different from the EXs that we know. So, Lorantis GX, 210 hit points, which is pretty darn good for a stage one. <laughs> he goes from 60 to 210. That's a pretty crazy jump. But, uh, but yeah, Grass type, weak to fire, which is pretty horrible, since Volcanion is one of the most popular decks. But nevertheless, this is a strong card for sure, I think. Uh, its first attack does 40 damage for a Grass Energy, and you get to search your discard pile for two Grass Energy and attach them in any way that you want on your Pokemon. So super, super strong form of acceleration. If you guys played when Mega, Met Mega Manetric was legal, this might remind you a little bit of this. So definitely a very fast and efficient attacker. Uh, its second attack, I forget what it's called, but it's two grass and a colorless is 120. And then you heal 30 from your Lorantis uh, as well. So 120 is a decent number and three energy really isn't that bad when you consider that uh, you can so quickly power up a Lorantis with its first attack, or even thanks to the Fomantis as well. So I think it's actually a good energy to damage ratio when you factor those things in. And uh, like we said, he heals 30 as well. So the, the heal is a little bit nice. And we're actually going to play some more cards that tie into the healing, which you'll see in a minute. Uh, but then it's big GX attack. I forget what it's called again, because these are just like Japanese proxies. But it does 50 damage times the number of grass energy on Lorantis GX. So you can see the obvious synergy between this attack and Lorantis' first attack. So you can spend a couple turns accelerating all this energy onto your board with the uh, first attack. And then at some point, if you want to take a big knockout, you can use this uh, GX move. So I think all these attacks are actually very strong. Uh, specifically the GX attack in the first one. Its second attack is solid, but definitely I think the most uh, exciting ones are the first and the GX attack. So we're also playing one other attacker in this deck. It's going to be a Lugia EX. So Lugia has this Aero Ball attack similar to the old Mewtwo EX. There's 20 times the amount of energy on both active Pokemon. So obvious energy is we can throw some energy onto Lugia uh, with our Lorantis. Uh, to hit for some big numbers and it also has deep hurricane so if there's a stadium card in play it is 80 plus 70 more and you discard that stadium so Lorantis is weak to fire which i did mention is unfortunate so it's nice to have a backup attacker that has uh some different weaknesses that might help you against these unfavorable matchups and even if you go against something like a glaceon or something like that you'll have a different way to deal with it so louis is just a nice little one of in there but the other main uh, cards we're going to pair with Lorantis, it's going to be an Eevee Evolution line. We're going to play two Eevee and then one of each of the, the Eevee Evolutions. So each of these is actually pretty important. Flareon is good because 
Well, first of all, I guess just to mention, all of these evolutions, they make your stage one Pokemon uh, the corresponding type that the evolution is. So Flareon, if you get it in play, uh, has an ability that makes all of your stage ones fire. Jilteon Lightning, uh, Vaporeon Water. So this is cool because depending on the matchup you're going against, you can pick a different evolution to deal with it. So Flareon, for example, you want to use this in the mirror match when you're you know, going against another Lorantis deck. Uh, also get Solgaleo GX, which looks to be a pretty hyped card, which we also did a deck profile on if you guys want to check that out. Uh, so Flareon's good against that. Uh, Jolteon's great against things like Eveltal EX and Mega Rayquaza EX. And then Vaporeon is great against Volcanion. Because so I was just saying Volcanion will be able to knock out our Lorances in one hit. But thanks to Vaporeon, we'll be able to actually do the same back to them. And hopefully um, that will help overcome the bad weakness that Lorantis has. So this is going to be more of like an anti-meta game uh, build of Lorantis. A little bit different from the Vileplume variant. And then just to round out the Pokemon line, we're playing two Shaman EX just for the ability setup. Uh, draw until you have six cards whenever you bench Shaman. So that's going to be it for the Pokemon line. Going on to the supporters, we have four Professor Sycamore. Discard your hand and draw seven. Uh, pretty obvious, strongest supporter we have in the game. And it's also good because we can discard Grass Energies to get out of the discard pile later with Lorantis. Uh, 2N. So each player shuffles in and draws equal to the amount of prize cards they have. Just a nice form of shuffle draw and some uh, disruption in the late game as well. Two Lysander, switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active. So Lorantis most of the time is going to two-shot Pokemon. So we're going to need Lysander at some point to clean up knockouts and to close out a game. Uh, one Pokemon Center Lady, heal 60 damage and all special conditions from one of your Pokemon. So if you get to, let's say, someone attacks into your Lorantis. Let's just say an Eveltal EX for the sake of example. Well, we can play Center Lady, heal 60, and then use, I believe, Solar Blade, the attack is called, to do 120 and heal an additional 30. So a lot of times, if you can Center Lady and attack with Lorantis' second attack, you can actually pretty much nullify your opponent's entire turn of attacking you. And then just four versus Seeker, just to reuse all of those different supporters. Okay, so we have four Trainer's Mail. Look at the top four cards of your deck. You pick a Trainer card you find there, put it into your hand. Pretty self-explanatory, just helps us draw into what we need when we need it. Uh, four Ultra Ball, uh, discard two cards from your hand, search your deck for any Pokemon, has obvious synergy with Lorantis, and it lets us get anything out of our deck. Uh, also one Level Ball, since we do have a lot of Pokemon under 90 hit points, uh, Fomantis, and the entire EV uh, evolution line. So Level Ball lets you search your deck for a Pokemon with under 90 hit points and put it into your hand. So just a nice... Uh, extra way we can help set up our board. Uh, three Super Potion, and I do apologize for the proxies, guys. I didn't have any on me at the time of filming. Uh, but yeah, three Super Potion. So heal 60 damage from one of your Pokemon if you do discard an energy attached to it. So I bet you can see where I'm going with this. So we get to heal 60 and heal 30 with Lorantis as well. So even more disgusting is if you can center lady to heal 60 heal 60 with super potion and then you solar blade to heal another 30 so you can heal total 150 damage in one turn potentially uh, with this deck so absolutely stupid when you can pull this off your opponent will definitely be a little bit annoyed here um and it is worth knowing, too, we are choosing to play Super Potion over Max Potion just because uh, Max Potion makes you discard all of your energy. And ideally, you want to be able to keep using Solar Blade every turn. So if you just discard the one energy, you can attach another and keep attacking. Okay, so two Floatstone, uh, just a tool card, gives whatever Pokemon it's attached to free retreat. We can put on Lugia, Shamans, Evolutions, etc. Uh, one Escape Rope. So each player switches uh, their bench Pokemon, or switches their active with their bench Pokemon. Your opponent switches first. So it's just an alternate form of switching, and also can be disruptive to your opponent as well. Uh, one Enhanced Hammer. So discard a special energy from one of your opponent's Pokemon. Uh, honestly, this is in here just because we had an extra slot left <laughs> uh, at the end of building this first draft of Lorantis. 
So this is kind of an anti-metagame deck with all of the different evolutions. Uh, we have all the super potions and sender ladies to troll our opponents. Uh, Enhanced hammer is just another card that can kind of annoy your opponent. And so if we heal a bunch of damage and then enhanced hammer, like it can really set your opponent back. So I figured that'd be fine just to fill this last spot in the deck. So then we have one revitalizer, put two grass Pokemon from your discard uh, into your hand. So if we have to Sycamore away, maybe some Lorantis in the early game, we can just quickly get them back into our hand uh, later. So one Super Rod, you get to shuffle any three combination of Pokemon and basic energies from your discard into your deck. So this is mainly for our evolutions if we have to discard them or Sycamore them, uh, or if they get Lysandered up, um, we will have a way to get them back out and set them up once again. And then just to round out the trainer cards, we're playing four Forest of Giant Plants. Each player's grass Pokemon gets to evolve the first turn they were put into play. So this is especially good if we go second. Um, we can get out a Fomantis, play Force of Giant Plants, immediately evolve into to Lorantis, and start attacking immediately. So it just helps give this deck a little bit of extra speed. And that's going to be it for the trainer card. Just to round out the list, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 Grass Energy. Seems like a fine count. That way we can pretty much always draw into it when we need it um, and get it in the discard pile. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's going to be our first attempt at a Loranthus GX deck. Like I said, I think the Vileplume one is the more hyped version. Uh, it definitely seems pretty strong as well. But we wanted to kind of go in a different direction, see what other ways we can uh, make a deck out of this Loranthus card. And um, so it definitely seems like an interesting concept for sure. Loranthus as a Pokemon, I don't know which variant is going to come out on top, but I definitely expect to see this card uh, see a ton of play. It definitely seems very, very strong. So as usual with these deck profiles, guys, if there's anything in this list that you think um, that you don't like or you think should be changed, feel free to let us know in the comments. Always like to hear your feedback on this. Um, but yeah, that, that's going to be about it. As usual, I appreciate you guys watching. Feel free to like and subscribe. And don't forget to check out our merch over at RareCandyTCG.com. If you can pick up something to help support the channel, it would mean a lot to us. But with that, I appreciate you watching, and we'll see you for the next one.